Hi guys, this is HFV. Welcome back. What you will see on the channel is a Champions League qualification round three game, the rematch. It's going to be my favorite club, Ferenc Varos, facing Karabakh from Azerbaijan. The first leg in Azerbaijan last week was a 1-1 draw, so everything is open for today. But I thought that we were about equal in the first half, but in the second half, the opposition Karabakh were better and they could have grabbed the victory easily but they didn't eventually. Since it's Champions League qualification with two teams from lower ranked first divisions, we can know that both these teams were domestic champions of their countries. Ferenc Varos, of course, the reigning champion of Hungary and four times consecutive champion, by the way, and Karabakh, the reigning champions of Azerbaijan. Both teams had to start from round one in the Champions League qualification. The first opponent of Ferenc Varos was Tobol Kostanay from Kazakhstan. We went through with a 5-1 aggregate score and then faced Slovan Bratislava from Slovakia and there we progressed after losing at home but turning the tie around away with a 5-3 aggregate score. The first opponent of Karavag were Polish champions Lech Poznań. They went through 5-2 on aggregate and then faced the champions of Switzerland FC Zurich and after extra time in Zurich away they qualified. This is what we need to know before the game. Let's go to the Grupama Arena, the stadium of Ferenc Varos. My bro, score prediction for today? 1-1 one, one in full time and then in the extra time 2-1. So here we have a friend from which country? Germany. Your score prediction for today? Um, I guess it's 2-0 for Ferenc Varos. In regular time or extra time? In regular time. This section is closed for today because of uh, UEFA punishment. Underway by Ferenc Aros. Chance of Karabag. Oh, great skill. Seven minutes. We are really poor defense we had in these first minutes. 
We gave the ball away just before I started recording. It's ridiculous how many defensive mistakes we had. We had like three in, in 90 seconds and eventually it's a goal for them. And it's, it's, we, we deserved it because we were so bad defensive. We just gave the ball away. You cannot afford that. It's a bloody Champions League qualification round three. Bon appétit, for God's sake. As he recovers with Ray Pass to Dogmark. Another huge defensive mistake. This could be too for Karabag. Yeah, our, our keeper saved us this time. And it was offside apparently as well. Light only with the free kick, 21st minute. Rebound! Oh, given away there. Yeah, that was a definite yellow card. For the love story! Nobody on him. Jesus Christ, guys, our keeper saved us. And we're chanting his name right now. Oh my God, we can thank so much to him right now. Incredibly weak, concentration lost, and Karabakh, they are not better. We are just giving them chances. Literally, we gave the ball away so many times, I can't even count, like at least 15 times. And before the goal, they got in front with. Uh, we just gave it away like three times, and for the third, they scored eventually. Obviously, you get punished if you make mistakes like this in the back, in the back third. It's just unacceptable. And then they're playing with time all the time. They're time wasting. Literally, all the time, they were like six, seven times. Like, laying on the ground, come on. So anyway, now I was talking <laughs> according to what I feel, but uh, but if, if I look at it as a, as a neutral, uh, loads of defensive mistakes at the home team and the, the away team keep kind of coming away on, on counters and once they were effective and we also needed uh, the big saves of our, our keeper, this one in the end, where he saved two after each other that was needed pretty much and one before as well he saved a really big one so the defense is very poor hoping for a lot better in the second half well he keeps the ball well
This is what we do all the time today. Ridiculous. Fast back. Look at this, 54th minute, 2 0 for them. We carried on exactly there where we left off in the end of the first half. We deserve nothing more. We have now number 8, Raya Mai, on the pitch. Ovation for him, and much louder support right now. If somebody can't get us back in the game, it's him. 62nd minute, Chivic with the free kick. Counter possibility. Tokmak. Lydoni. But he has no options. Oh, that's a great one. Traore. Here we go again. Time is sink for the let's say 11th time. Great ball. Laiduni. Zakarias and inside the box. Okay, that's it for us. 78th minute, 3 0. They are going to the Champions League playoff. Same play as in the first half. If this could be 4 now. Okay, and now the last Karabakh player goes there as well, of course. Yeah, the longer they fight, the less time we have. Not as if it would matter at nil three. That's a goal back in the 86th minute. It'll be at least great atmosphere in these last few minutes. Moving to the left side, Chore. Only five minutes of additional time. I don't think that's fair to be honest because they they wasted at least eight.
Ryan Meyer. I think that the contact was, was to be seen, but anyway. So VAR check there. Yes, you know, there was a contact in my opinion. He whistles full time instead of a penalty. Poor display by our team and although I say say by my heart but I think it was poor refereeing as well. Anyway, it's 1-3 for uh, Karabar. Now looking back at my footage, I got really, really emotional and biased. So, uh, so sorry for that. So I'm going to try to summarize the game as a neutral. Ferenc Arashmid, a lot of mistakes, obviously, because it's my favorite team. I've seen them playing a lot of times and this was one of the worst games. I mean, every second pass was inaccurate, literally every second and no Jules one, literally no Jules. Karabakh came away a few times, credit to them because they kept on pushing. In this case, you have to congratulate your opponent, obviously. So congrats to Karabakh. They won this tie 4-2 and I'm by winning here in Budapest 3-1. They'll face Victoria Pilsen from Czech Republic in the Champions League playoff. Now we, Ferenc Sarosh, we get out of the Champions League, obviously, and we'll face Shamrock Rovers for the Europa League, the playoff for the Europa League, which is an Irish team, of course. I'll say goodbye now. I was HFV and join me next time as well. Also, if you're up for some more content, join me on Instagram and on Twitter as well. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. See you next time.